Hello everyone, my name is Queenie and today I want to bring you an auto farm that includes the new crops of spicy peppers and corn. However, I've been waiting forever for my plot to get cleared, but unfortunately we can't delete any crops, so we're just gonna have to work around this weird layout that I made just because I wanted to try out the new crops as they came out, which means that it's just gonna look a little bit wonky, but do not worry, I will show you exactly what the garden is supposed to look like as well. So just ignore the wonkiness of my actual garden. Because, frankly, I have no sense of patience. I'm just gonna go ahead and till the soil. I think I have some leftover fertilizer as well. I'm not sure what type of fertilizer this is. Let's have a look. Can I press G and C? Ah, it's water retain. Got it. So we have, like, a lot of stacks of water retain on some of these. I'm gonna try my best, and then as these farm out, I'm just gonna replace these two spicy pepper bushes and the apple tree with the actual correct layout to make this as hands-off and automatic as possible. And I saw somebody saying in my comments, and why are you tilling your soil one by one? Listen, it's very satisfying to treat your plot as a scratching ticket, okay? Just do one at a time. Although I've been pretty good and not done them one by one for this entire plot this time. So there's that, there we go. All right, so it's tilled and I'm just gonna do the layout as best as I can with sort of the slight interruption of the trees. So we'll just pretend it's not there. And actually <laughs> with this layout, I'm just realizing because I need to utilize these corner squares where the tree are, we won't be able to plant our spicy pepper bushes where they're supposed to go because they're supposed to go on these four squares right here and these four squares right here so we'll just use these ones for now and then as soon as the tree is gone i'm just gonna leave this space open so that we can get our chili bushes down as soon as possible right so let's plant the rest of the garden at least let's set it up for success as much as we can so we obviously need some corn seeds I'm going to need some tomato seeds, some potato seeds as usual, and uh, let's see what else. Of course, my favorites, onions and carrots. And what did I intersperse it with? Ah, rice is my chosen crop to mix it up with. So corn and rice both gives boost amount to the amount of harvest, so you can kind of switch between corn, wheat, rice, however you see fit, right? But because we want to use the new crops, I've chosen corn and then rice because I just really like rice. The total amount you're going to end up using. So I obviously have, I always keep stacks of 30, but for some reason, corn stacks at 50, which is strange. I don't know if that's intended or not because no other crop stacks at higher than 30, I think. Maybe chili does, but I haven't quite gotten enough seeds to try if they stack higher. But the actual amount you're going to be using is 15 tomatoes, 12 potatoes, 5 rice seeds, 19 carrot seeds, 15 onion seeds, 7 corn seeds, and 2 spicy pepper seeds. Now, as I said, my current lot is not quite equipped to do this layout fully. Uh, but we're just gonna do our best until these guys are harvested out. And as I said, I'm gonna leave some empty space for my future spicy pepper bushes right here in the corners. Uh, and then we'll just fill it out as and when. So, first off, my carrots and onions in the first row. Then we have the tomatoes and potatoes. And I know that tomatoes are not, like, super popular anymore since they nerfed the amount of seeds you get from, like, the seed investment which is a bit of a shame. Still don't quite understand why that was necessary. There's a lot of choices that I don't understand why they're necessary, but uh, hey, I'm just, I'm just a content creator. What do we know? Next up is some corn and some rice. So it's actually just gonna be one corn and one rice because then there's gonna be my chili bush here or my spicy pepper bush is gonna go here. We're just gonna keep on planting the rest of the row here with the crops that we've chosen. On this next one, it's gonna be onion carrots. So let's see where we start. So we're gonna start with uh, some carrots down here. So at the moment, we can only fit like a little bit. There we go. Again, we are leaving some space here. So just gonna plop down my onions. There we go. And then I think it looks like it might be time for more tomatoes and potatoes. So we're gonna do that. Again, we don't quite have the space necessary. <laughs> 
So we'll just do our best. God, I really wish that they would have come out with the crop removal. That would have been so helpful because I'm kind of over the apple tree. And I definitely regret placing down my spicy peppers. I was just so excited when I first got the seeds, you know. I was just so excited to have them in my gardens. I just immediately planted them wherever there was space in the moment. And now we're stuck. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't do what I do, guys. So we just did the middle row, which means the next row is going to be corn and rice. Ooh, and this is where we're going to put the next... The next spicy pepper bush. So we're going to leave some space. And then let's see here. Because of how the layout is going to be. It's going to look a little different. In some areas. So there's going to be rice here. And you'd think that there should be corn here. But actually there will be an onion. The reason for the onion being here. Is because otherwise we would miss out on the weed removal. Like the automatic nature of the plot would then be slightly hampered. So we need to kind of spread it out just a little bit but we continue on so next to here is gonna be the carrots and the onion layer so we'll start with that we'll st i think i can just go pretty much all the way down of course making space for my chilies yes then we're gonna get this one. Oh, and i do need a rice plant here as well because i forgot to put that in and then more onions on these spaces there. Obviously, these two are sort of in the way now. So let's continue from the bottom here. It's supposed to be a tomato and potato row. And I think this is pretty straightforward. I will just carefully try and plant this. I've made the mistake many times of accidentally planting stuff in a row that I didn't mean to. And obviously, you cannot remove crops yet. So yeah, you do need to take like a little bit of care to just not mess up your plot. Which I have personally done a lot of times, as you can see. <laughs> and the last row is going to be carrots and potatoes. And there we go. I mean, at the minute, it looks a little bit wonky. This will be a spicy pepper bush eventually. This will be a spicy pepper bush eventually. These two will not be here. This is going to be a potato and tomato row. And this is going to be a carrot and onion row. But... We work with what we got. The reason I'm not planting anything else here is because I don't want to be stuck not being able to plant the spicy peppers as soon as this tree is gone. So, and I honestly have no idea how long this tree is still going to last me. So it could be one more harvest cycle. It could be like two more harvest cycles. I don't know. So I'm just going to play it safe and keep those spaces open for my future pepper bushes so we're just gonna take care of the rest of the garden as nicely as possible so due to obviously the way that the layout has been forced to be made right now i don't think this will be 100 percent automatic until i can plant the proper crops where my current spicy pepper bushes and where my apple tree is currently sitting but as usual the layout for this is absolutely 100 percent automatic once you get all the crops in the correct places it has 100% water retention and 100% weed prevention while letting you harvest the brand new crops. This layout will be pretty, pretty profitable as well, actually. Over the 15 days, the calculation is that we're going to get over 31,000 gold. That averages out to about 2,000 gold a day. This is probably one of my favorite layouts in terms of aesthetics because of how pretty it looks when everything is ready to harvest. So yeah. Hopefully this will help you to make your farming and your gardening as easy as possible while still enjoying these new crops as well. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!